how to set up the SSH key based login for your Proxmox server. So I'm using PowerShell. Of course, you might be using Terminal when you are having Linux or Mac OS. These are three servers. Actually, I will try to log into the first server and I'll show you what is the process. So we'll do SSH space root at 10.11.12.101. It will ask me for the password and then I'll enter the password and I'm logged in. If I want to log in without the password, only from my computer, if I log in from any other computer, so it should ask the password. So I will first of all show you how we can create the SSH key. Let me exit from the Proxmox server here. Now I'm on my local computer. On local computer, I will be creating the SSH key pair. We'll be using this particular command, which is SSH-keygen and here we'll be using the algorithm of RSA. So dash T space RSA means that RSA algorithm will be used to generate the key. So size of the key will be dash B, which means bytes and 4096, which means 4096 bytes. For the key, this is the recommended size right now. Once you press enter, it will ask you for the default location of the SSH key. So I will be accepting this. I will press enter. And now it is saying that enter the passphrase. So I will not be entering the passphrase because the purpose is that I want to access it without the password. Press enter. So there is no passphrase. Again, it is asking the passphrase. So I will be pressing enter. Now you can see it has generated the public key. Another is the private key. So private key is your secret key. In fact, you should not share the private key with anyone. Of course, public key can be copied to the Proxmox server. Now, if you go to your local computer, your Windows computer, of course, where I generated the keys. I will go into users and my user is here. And inside my user, there is a folder .ssh. This .ssh has now these two keys. Uh, one is the private key and one is the public key. So here with .pub is the public key. Of course, we generated the default name here. So this name is available here. So this public key can be now copied to any server. Of course, there are multiple ways to do it. You can do it through the command line interface also. Through the command line interface, you can SSH to your Proxmox server and copy it. You can also do it through SCP. That is also one of the ways. And third way is that I can simply open the content of this file. So what I'll do, I'll just go to Proxmox first. And in Proxmox, if I come to my first Proxmox node here, and in Proxmox node, I will just come here to shell. And here, if I cd.ssh, which is of course hidden right now. If you see the list of files, nothing is known. But if you do cd.ssh, so you will see that ssh folder is available. And in ssh folder, you can see here its own private key is there, its own public key is there. And at the same time, it has the authorized keys. I need to copy into the authorized keys the key that I have generated here. So if I go to the public key of my system, so my system has this public key. I will simply open this into notepad and I can simply copy this entire key. And I will come back to my Proxmox and I will edit this file authorized keys. So I will do sudo nano authorized underscore keys. And here you can see these are keys already available. So I will be entering key. Paste it here. It is the key now which has been added and that key is for my Zen book. You can see it here. And now I will just exit. Yes, enter. The known host keys is already added, but I want to log in without the password now. I need to, of course, change the configuration. So let me show you how we can do that. And I'll do cd space slash etsy slash ssh. And in ssh, let me show you the list of files. Let me clear the screen. So list of files, you will see here sshd underscore config is the file name. So I will do sudo nano sshd underscore config. So sshd underscore config. So what you need to do, you need to go down here. Of course, these all are disabled and only one which is enabled is permit root login. Yes, so root login is permitted. Here down, you will see public key authentication is yes, whether you want to enable this. So I will enable by removing the hash from here. So now public key login is also public key authentication is also enabled now. Simply press control X to close this, Y to save it, enter to save. Now what we are going to do, we are going to restart the SSH service. So we'll do system 
CTL restart SSH. So now SSH service has been restarted. I'll be now able to log in from my local computer using the SSH root at 10.11.12.101. Without password, now we are able to log in. I'll be using this method to automate certain processes. For example, if I want to log in and then I want to update and uh, upgrade and then I want to close this. For the automation, we'll be using Ansible. And if I try to now log in to second server, which is SSH root at 10.11.12.101, enter. Of course, 101 was entered. Let me exit this and let me try to log into 102. It will log in again without the password. Exit. I will log into 103 and you will see here it is also not asking for the password. Why it has happened? Because this is in cluster environment right now. And when I copy the known host, known host gets copied to all the Proxmox nodes. And the configuration gets also automatically copied to all the nodes. Because this is in cluster environment. So whatever changes I have made in the SSH, so it has been copied to all. So if I show you now here in the second server, if I go to cd.ssh in the second server, ls, and if I if I show you known keys, authorized keys, so I will do nano authorized underscore keys. And you can see here, this key is also added here. So it is added to all three servers. I don't need to, in the cluster environment, I don't need to update the SSH key one by one in all the servers. Now all the servers can be logged in without the password. And I have enabled the SSH key. So this is the method you can use to create your SSH keys and copy this to your Linux server. Continue to next video, we'll see how we can automate certain things in Proxmox.